Today we're making this bow. Um, you need two ribbons in size one and a half inches and one ribbon in size seven eighths inch in order to make this bow. Cut your ribbons to 30 inches each. So I have my three ribbons. My two big ribbons I'm going to need to cut in half. So you're just going to take them like this and you're going to fold them and then you'll just cut them just right there along the edge so that you have your ribbons cut in half. Once you have your four ribbons cut in half, you're just going to heat seal these ends by running a lighter over the edges real quick. I'll be right back. Now you're going to sew these edges together using a um, sewing machine and a straight stitch. So the top one here. Take your ribbon just like that and you'll just run it through. Just run it through your sewing machine. You overlap them a bit. They'll look right here. They're overlapped right there so that you can just sew right up and down it and then you'll have your I always run mine back through. When you're done, your ribbon will look like this. Um, don't worry that it's kind of messy because we are going to um, hide that with the middle of the bow. Now you have your two ribbon like this. Take your two ribbon and you just stick them in like this. And then you guide, you just guide it through and make a zigzag stitch. When you're done, you'll have your little zigzag all the way up. Um, it's okay if this is off a little bit because you're going to grab it all in the grab, but you don't want it to be off too much. Um, just zigzags all the way down. And just trim your strings and we'll get ready. The last piece is more of the same. You're just going to lay it against the edge and run a zigzag stitch all the way down. Now when you're done, your ribbon's going to look like this. Um, don't worry that it has ruffles in it. You won't really be able to see them too much whenever we get the bow. To cut these, we're just going to take them like this and fold it in half. Like that. Once you have it folded in half, you're just going to take your scissors and trim at an angle. And it will open up into an awesome fish tail. You want to do that on both. And if your zigzag stitches get messed up right here, just take a little bit and heat seal and then push it so that everything kind of melts together there. On We're the going to shape the bow using this template. Basically, it's just seven inches across, and then you just make a little slit down the middle. Take your ribbon and fold it in half to find the middle. You lay it down just like this, and then you'll take it and fold it across like that. Pull it down so that it'll kind of stick out and across like this. If they don't look even, find it so that you can make it even. Then you're going to slip the bow off the template like that. Then you'll take the bow and you'll just crunch it up in the middle in order to make your bow shape. This is the part where you can kind of play with it and make the memory to make your bow. Because what you're going to do, once you have it squished up good, is you're going to take a zip tie. You can buy these um, in any home improvement store. They have them at Walmart in the automotive section. That's If you hear the clicking sound, that's how you know you're using the zip tie the right way. And once you get your bow kind of shaped how you want, take the zip tie and pull it as tight as you can. If you want, on that step, you can use pliers. And there, are you showing all the bow? You've made your bow. So now, we're gonna make the middle. Okay, you can stop it. When you're done with your zip tie, you just wanna take your scissors and clip as close to the edge as possible. And now we're going to make the knot for the middle. We'll just take the ribbon that you used up here and you'll make a center knot. When you do that, you'll want to make sure that it stays, the top stays on. That's the part that you, everyone can see. Once you've made your center knot, 
You can go right there in the middle. But first, before you glue that down, we are going to glue a ponytail holder to the back here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our hot glue gun and we are going to glue a big rubber band. I always glue this little center part right here, just right above that thingy. And if you don't like where that thingy is, you can kind of turn it to get it where you want it to be. So you'll just take your gun, squirt some hot glue, and you'll just take it and squirt a glob of hot glue right there. You don't need a bunch, but this is what's going to hold your ponytail holder on, so you need some. Take it in the seam, stick it right in there, kind of let it dry just a little bit so that it's good and dry. You can do that with both sides. Then you'll just take it. And I like to put the hot glue on the ribbon. That way I'm sure I'm getting all the way to the edges. Take it like this. Glue it over the edge like that. And then you'll do the same thing. I always do the top part last, so that way, if there's any seams, they're going to be on the bottom, not the top. And we'll just glue it like that. And there you have your super mega awesome giant bow.